morning. Good morning. We are now at Animal Kingdom, Kadani Village. However, we are now moving on to Coronado Springs. We have been with our friends Adam and Gary for the past six days. Um, that's why we haven't been filming this section because Adam's been vlogging and we're in there. Hello. Yeah. So if you want to see what we've got up to, go check out his channel and his uh, Walt Disney World series. Yeah. Should we start in... Well, it'll already, already be up when this goes out, so check it out. Um, I'll just give you a quick room tour. I will apologise because we've already been here for six days, so it's a little bit messy. But I thought I'll show you around, just in case you ever do stay in Kadani Village. Here's the front door. As you walk in, you've got your kitchenette to the right, or left, depending on where you're going to be staying. Coffee maker, coffee stuff, microwave. What's that called? Toaster. You've got a fridge and a little freezer compartment there. Oh, they don't come with the room. They're ours. <laughs> Crockery and stuff. I will just point out this is a DVC room which we booked through DVC rental stores. So the normal hotel rooms at Animal Kingdom Lodge are different to this one. Into the bathroom. Hello mirror. You got your shower stuff. All your X H2O products which are still the same. <gasps> oh, you left that behind. Good job I'm doing this. I'm finding things we're leaving behind. The little puff. Do you want to take that? Yeah. Your bed. I apologise, it's messy. The TV. All the drawers, wardrobe, hanging space. We've got a cupboard. Ah, cupboard, safe, iron, ironing board, and that's where your extra pillow and blankets are. You've got a sofa which turns into a sofa bed. That sofa is really comfy, really by the way. Comfy. Really comfy. Artwork, seating area. And then we've kind of got a pool view, kind of, but it's a really nice big balcony. And then that's the pool over there. And there's Max. Hi. We're going to go to Sanaa for breakfast, which I think might be my favourite place for breakfast. It's classed as a quick service at breakfast time, but kind of like a table service, so you order and then they bring the food out to you. We got everything? Let's go. Okay. bags off at Bell Services who are going to take the bags over to Coronado Springs. So they'll be waiting at their Bell Services when check-in time has come for us. Um, here is Sanaa where we're coming for breakfast. So breakfast is served 7.30 till 11am and here is the menu. We've also got little grab and go items as well as hot food you can pick up. Our setting for breakfast. There's no animals, although someone's just shouted, Debra! Over there, but I can't see it yet. No, but it should have sausage. Oh, I was just going to say our breakfast has arrived. 
Max has got a boar breakfast. Two cage. But it's missing his sausage. Home American African fries. House made boar sausage. Missing. No sausage. Bacon, coconut drop biscuit. Oh dear. Well, missing sausage. But mine's here. My eggs Benedict. And that looks nice. Breakfast done. If you come outside, they've got a viewing area. Oh, there's the zebra. Munching on his breakfast. There's his friend. Got a little viewing areas up there yeah. and over there. Yeah, that's where we've just come for breakfast over there. It is freezing. Morning. Morning. Where are we off to now? Animal Kingdom. Hooray! Feel the chill on your legs. Oh, it is cold. We are heading over to the Animal Kingdom now for a couple of hours and then I want to head to the boardwalk because there's a cinnamon roll there, I'm sure I spoke about it before, in the shape of a Mickey which I believe to be the best one on Disney property. So I want to go there, get it before we go home. And then hopefully our room at Coronado Springs will be ready. And just like that our bus has arrived. I hope it's warm in here and then we've got the aircon on. <laughs> We're on our way to Disney's Animal Kingdom. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated while the motor coach is in motion. If you're standing, we encourage you to use the handrails overhead. As you can see, the Christmas tree has gone. Oh, damn it. Mickey magic. Mickey magic. Just a little note. So. Disney have new security things. Well, I don't know how new they are anymore. But you basically just walk straight through a scanner without taking, like, they don't search your bag unless the scanner goes off. Oh, picture, picture. Sorry. But just a note, if you've got like umbrellas or anything in there. Umbrellas, hard sunglasses cases. Um, yeah, I think they're the two main things. Yeah, they, they are really. the, the things that tend to go off. So if you've got umbrellas or glasses, cases, metal things, just take them out of your bag, hold them up in front of you when you go through the scanner and, and then you won't on. get stopped. It is a very busy day today. Very busy. I don't think January is a quiet season anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Right. Plan of attack. Make our way yeah. to a very busy Starbucks. A very busy Starbucks. Get the coffees. And uh, then go to Rafiki's Planet Watch? Yes, because okay. we haven't been there this trip. Yeah. And it's a nice, quiet little spot where you can see if they do any like um, procedures on the animals and stuff, it's all open so you can watch. Yeah, and they've got like a little petting zoo, really, haven't they? With yeah, some goats, the goats and, and things. Um, yeah. You get a little train there. Yeah, there's like the veterinary surgery operation thing you can kind of see into. Yeah. Oh, I think that's quite good. Oh, lovely. Um, Uh, welcome home. Welcome home. It seems like every time we come to this park, it's sunny and blue skies. Yeah. Whereas all the other parks, it's been grey and <laughs> grey. <laughs> Maybe we should come here more often. Yeah. Oh, I still need to find that hoodie I want. No. Let's go on the hunt for a hoodie. I'm just happy to be here. What's that? Mm. I do like these.
Well, it's pointing at me. When does that happen? Oh. Hello. Hmm? Hello. Hiya. Oh, oh. Hiya. Right. We'll leave it on my shoulder thing. Yeah, try him. But I don't know how you want him. Hmm. It'll probably fit down here, but then it kind of looks like he's stuck on. Oh no. <laughs> Do they have it? Extra small, extra small, 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 extra large. Do you want to try a large on again? Ah, it's too big. Are you sure, sure? Sure. What if I try If you try one on in a picture, you're not getting it. Why? Because it's mine. Right. Boop, boop. It's called the World Parrot Trust, and they're working on breeding blue throat in macaws like Deluca in hopes that their offspring can be released into the wild someday and help that population. Because we want uh -huh. to see skies full of macaws that look just like this. Uh -huh. What have you got, Alex? Ah. <laughs> Nothing. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Happy. And I also bought. Oh, it's wrapped up. For the Starbucks. It's this. He bought this as well. That you've seen multiple times. There we have. Coffee acquired. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee. Now on our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch. And the train station for Rafiki's Planet Watch is just next to Kilimanjaro Safari. Yes. Train service. It's literally right where you come out of the safari. Welcome aboard, everyone. Hi, thank you. There's a warthog building. As we make our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife uh, that we find down the way. And the He's a big train pig. specialist you here. Big pig too. From hey, ostriches we've been to down there, to the mighty and natural behaviors Hi, of their real-life counterparts. Even with the latest advances in computer animation. Uh, I'd love to work here. We've arrived at it's Conservation it's Station. Yeah, I want to keep calling it Rafiki's Planet Watch, and that's what it was years that, and years ago. No, it still is. Isn't the building Rafiki's Planet Watch? Oh, I feel like we need to fact check this before we film this. <laughs> we'll just go with it. So we've just got off the train, and that was quite oh. surreal because someone came up to us and recognised us. So thanks. Thanks, Tracy. Tracy, nice to meet you. Yeah, that was so surreal that like it, it's it's funny to think that our video has gone up the travel day, and then people have actually watched it and then recognise who we are. Crazy, but crazy. Hi, thank you. Thanks. We're now just walking down to a building. I think it's called Rafiki's Planet Watch. 
this is it. Conservation Station. Conservation Station. But it's a nice area to come just yeah. to get away from the crowds, isn't it? Yeah, it's chilled, very educational. Are we going in? Let's go in here. Okay. The animation experience. This is where they do examinations, operations on the animals. There's Mickey in his gowns. Can you imagine being on constant show while you're trying to work? <laughs> Hiya! And this is where you can come and draw. Oh, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> okay, that bottle went out just a little bit more to see if we can work on it. Um, this is like the petting zoo section. The affection station. The affection uh, station. Oh. 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 No. 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 So here's a cow. You can't hand feed the animals and they ask that you don't touch their faces, only their backs. Petted all brushed and all back inside. Not backsides. Here's the donkeys. Uh, hey! What's his name, do we think? Dimitri. Dimitri and Delilah. Delilah. Oh. Mm. Doreen. Doreen and Dimitri. <laughs> Hi gang. Hello. Now fun fact, Alex used to have a pet sheep, didn't you? Oh, Larry. <laughs> we used to have a paddock and we had Larry the sheep who but hated me. I thought he used to bully you, didn't he? He did used to bully. Whenever I went into that paddock where he lived, he used to ram at me. <laughs> ram. Bit of bum. Exactly. Hi. I mean, what's he eating? He's been chewing on that for ages. Oh, look at him on there, he's tiny. Dwarf coats. Dwarf coats. Dwarf coats. Give him a stroke. I'm scared. What if he eats me? He won't eat you. <laughs> How's Clark here? Welcome to Padma. He's close to the eating. Yes, yes, same thing. They're all Nigerian dwarf coats. Um, the majority of the ones that we have out here are, and a lot of them are related. So this one here, um, Clark is one of our youngest. He was born just Hi, before Christmas, about two years ago. This, class, yep. this one. Hello. And then this is Tubbs. Tubbs is our oldest, though. He's almost 17 years old. <gasps> Hi, Tubbs. Has he been here the whole time? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, he's had a good life. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this kind of goat usually lives for Hi, 12 Tubbs. years. So wow. the fact that he's made it to almost 17 is pretty incredible. Did you hear what she said about that goat? The 17 year old? Yeah. Yeah, he's been here. Yeah, but their normal lifespan is 12 years. Oh, uh, okay. And that one's now 17. Had a good life. Well, it just shows that they look after them in Disney. Yeah. And once you come out, there's a hand washing station. Hmm. How do you make water work? Ah. Oh. Goodbye, Conservation Station. We are, have decided to leave Animal Kingdom for the main reason of how busy it is. It is absolutely packed. We are heading to the boardwalk, aren't we? To get my Mickey cinnamon roll. Hopefully they'll still do it. <laughs> if not, I think Alex will be in a foul mood for the if rest not, of the vlog. I will just sit there and cry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to head out now and catch the bus to Disney's Boardwalk uh, and then go through the hotel and onto the actual boardwalk. Yeah. Bye Animal Kingdom. Goodbye. See you in May. May. Bus stop number needed. 20. Where? Oh yeah, there Disney Boardwalk. Middle. Number 20. Let's go. Am I going the right way? Bus is, yeah, 10 to 26. Don't run. On, Don't run. Go uh, uh, oh, he can hold the bus for me. We've decided to get off the bus. Right there. 
at the Yacht Club. So the bus that goes to Boardwalk starts at the Yacht Club, Beach Club and then Boardwalk. So we'll get off here, have a little gander through the lobby and then around the Boardwalk. Goosey goosey gander. Mm. Smells lovely in here. Oh, it does smell nice in here. That is a massive rug. The size of this rug. Mm -hmm. And the globe. Does the globe spin? Hello. Oh, it does. Yeah. First thing we come in and touch things. Oh, wow, it's lovely in here. <laughs> Will they have the hoodie that I want? Oh wow! We've also got food. Oh, is that really fluffy? Is it? Oh, that is lovely and soft. Hundred dollars? Lovely. I thought when I saw people walking around with these, because I've not heard of them before. Where's it say the name? Uh, I thought that said wines, vineyard wines, but it doesn't. It says vineyard vines. I wondered why everyone, hey it says. I wondered why everyone was walking around with wine t-shirts. Hiya. Isn't he adorable? He is adorable. Don't, don't. Let me get emotionally attached to him. Don't put him away. David, David. You need a stroller, lightweight, compact, and foldable. They have them in store. Here's the baby clothes, and right next to it is the coping method for the babies. For the adults. <laughs> <laughs> for the babies. <laughs> drink this. Don't drink that. Yes, they've got the Coke freestyle machines here. Ooh. Oh yeah, these were really good. If you love peanut butter. Shall we fill up our mugs? Yeah. Here? Nice. So these are the Coke freestyle machines that they do for your refillable mugs. And they have every type of drink you could possibly want. You name it, it be here. What would you like? Uh, vitamin water, zero sugar. I would like a mixture of orange and peach, please. Oh, do you want a bit of ice? Oh yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Got the juice. So these refillable mugs, you can only fill up at the hotel. Any hotel, so it doesn't any have to be the one that you're staying at. Disney hotel. Yeah. But you can't use them in the parks, just the resorts. Yeah, so you can use them in the parks. They just won't refill them anywhere in the parks for you. Yeah. So nice. The blue buildings, just in the distance, are the... Uh, it's a beach club, and then the white one is the yacht club, right next to each other. And then this walks onto the boardwalk. I found a new place for Stitch. Oh, he's hanging on. This is a swan and dolphin resort. Dolphin, as you can see. The dolphin. And, and swan, swan, as you can see. And then that's the... Swan Reserve. Yeah. <laughs> but you can also get a boat. Um, takes you to the Swan and Dolphin. Onto the boardwalk. And then the boat also continues onto Hollywood Studios, doesn't it? Yes. So you can get Hollywood Studios and Epcot boats from here. At the boardwalk. Boardwalk. At night time, this opens up and it's like a nightclub as well. Open 8 pm Thursdays. Is that Thursdays and Sundays or Thursdays to Sundays? Uh, good question. I don't know it's open on one of them days. 
There's jelly rolls. They do... Like piano playing in there, don't mean Tringle and stuff and yeah. things, isn't it? They, so they have like... Um, pianist, a band, singer, and they do like Disney songs and and things. We've never been in there, but it's supposed to be really good. Yeah. I found another store. Oh, look, a new shop to go in. Are they going to have the hoodie? Hmm. They're a nice design, aren't they? That's a nice bag. Have they got Gary's pin in here? We've been on the hunt for a pin for Gary every day, but it's been unsuccessful so far. I'm gonna say no. Does little Stitch need any clothes? <gasps> mm, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? That's about. That's only forty dollars. Okay. I expected that to be a lot more. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. We just found a spot overlooking the boardwalk. Da, 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 da. Here's the menu. I think I'm going to go for the chicken and walnut salad wrap. Add one of them. Add pickle? No. <laughs> We've got salads, plant-based sandwich. Well, this is what we really came for. Mickey cinnamon roll. Show us the Mickey cinnamon roll. Ah! Hey! Ah! Oh. Okay. Chris. Yeah. Here he is. Here he is! Yes! I've just cut my wrap open. It looks really good. There's loads of chicken in there. And there's your turkey sandwich. Yeah. Putting crisps on. Mm -mm. Here he is. Hi. Max, have you seen? Have I seen what? Have you seen? <laughs> that's like my favourite thing in the world. The dog in a pram. Well, I absolutely love seeing dogs in prams. <laughs> and now there's two of them. <laughs> I don't, this isn't, this is not the same. I don't think it's the same. the ones that we originally had from here. You can tell. I wonder if we came in the morning and they were like really fresh. No, already you can tell because they're thick. Uh, the ones we had were like thin. thin. Uh, is it still delicious? Not the same. Oh, sad times. It's still good. Yeah. What? Are they like the same ones that you get in the Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. I'd say they're marginally nicer than the Starbucks. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, hang on. They are better than the Starbucks ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. How was your wrap? Oh, that was delicious. That's possibly one of the best wraps I've ever had. It was so full. Chicken, walnuts, grapes. It was really, really good. And the cinnamon roll was good as well. What about you? Oh. Um, yeah, it was a good sandwich. The only thing I would say was the roll was very, very crusty, very hard crust. Very crusty, uh, very crusty. So a bit chewy, but the actual filling uh, it was really nice. I just wanted to it was on a bit of a softer sub. Yes. So, plan now. We are just going for wheeze at the toilets at the boardwalk lobby. Because you wanted to know. Because you need to know that. Um, then we're going to get a catch a lift over to Coronado Springs because if we didn't do that we'd have to walk to the very front of Epcot and get a bus. <laughs> and when he says catch a lift he means like an Uber. Uh, it's a company called Lyft. Yeah. Uh, not just hitchhike on the side of Oh the yeah we're not just like coming in. <laughs> Here is the boardwalk lobby.
I love how they have a fireplace going. The castles and each of the paintings that represent the bit on top of the carousel. Oh. The different castles around like the castles up there? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. I think you're right. Scary chairs. Creepy chairs at the reverence. This is the, oh, this is the new coffee shop that's opened here. Carousel Coffee. It does look nice. It looks like the Petit Café. Yeah, it's very Really nice. I've, I've not, obviously I know about the boardwalk, but I've never really explored it before. Oh, wow. They've got their own garden. <laughs> their own little garden. We've never stayed here before, but it's always been on the radar because I love the proximity to Epcot and obviously you can walk to that resort. Yeah. But I've never explored it. I love how they've got little bird houses. Ah, oh, wow, there's no one in the pool. Nice sunbeds. Got a hot tub there. I bet that hot tub's nice right now. <laughs> this is so peaceful. I think we might need to stay here. Yeah. Bar's cool. Yeah. This is the other side of the boardwalk. So. There's a right side and left side. This is the left side looking at the lobby. And this is the other pool. This is like the family pool with all the slides and stuff. The slide is a roller coaster. The slide is a roller coaster. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's the, the bar. The okay, <laughs> carousel. carousel. And there's a map. So this is where we are now, Luna Park Pool. Oh, they've got another pool there. Yeah. Villa leisure pool and then that other pool was the in leisure pool and here's the boardwalk bakery that we had our yeah from. the night nice jelly rolls oh, yeah. right. cool. we've just had a notification to say our room is ready at coronado springs Ooh. so let's go Welcome to Coronado Springs. This is the new Grand Destino Tower that was built a few years ago. So now this is like a block tower hotel and then they have all the little hotel rooms around the back as well. Yeah. Trying not to fall down the stairs as I'm recording this. <laughs> it really is a nice lobby. And I love the artwork of Walt over there with Mickey. Really nice. And they've got a, a bar here which does alcoholic drinks, coffees. So our room that we've been allocated was miles away. It was like the furthest section away wasn't it but we've just been to um reception yeah. should we go out yeah. walk out yeah we've just been to reception to ask if there's anything a bit closer to the amenities and the quick service and stuff straight away she came up to us looked on a little ipad moved us done amazing brilliant aren't they really great really good so we're now in the casitas area which are them buildings just in the distance there's the tower where we've just come from to check in and this is a new addition which was built with the tower the three bridges bar and grill which I find really difficult to say yeah so off in the distance you can just see that pyramid Mayan pyramid temple uh, that's where the main pool is but each little mm, village that's got its own individual pool as well but this bridge has made it a lot easier to walk around the resort because it cuts right across here we are 
are. So this is our room at Coronado Springs. We are staying at 5273, which is in the Casitas section. Oh, there's Alex and Stitch. Oh, come on in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is slightly different to the previous rooms that we've stayed in this trip because this is a like a standard hotel room, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a moderate resort for Disney and it's a non-Disney vacation club resort room. Yeah, so anyone booking a standard holiday will kind of get one of these rooms or something similar depending on the resort that you're at. And all the rooms at Coronado Springs have recently been refurbished. To this. And I must say, I am very impressed. Yeah, they look lovely. So, yeah, so literally you come in, you've got two uh, queen-size beds right there. Uh, you've got a nice little chair here uh, with some nice artwork with the three carry bearers, whatever they're called. I'm really sorry. Uh, that's a view of the car park. Oh, lovely. Um, so, you've got this massive, like, workstation desk area come... Yeah. Everything really. So we have a coffee machine, which is a Keurig, um, with like coffee style pods. I love these coffees. Yeah, uh, a little ice oh. bucket and some cups. Oh no, it's heating up. Ah. Um, just unplug it, Alex. Um, ah. A little storage section up there. Um, I assume this is the fridge. Yeah, there you go. A little fridge in there. Very nice little chair. Um, and there is that. No, that's not a we've drawer. Got another Hey Disney. Got another Hey Disney with a nice little desk what lamp. Have we got? So we've got USB and American plugs there. Yeah. Right, a nice big TV. Nice lamp. Uh, some drawers. Drawers. Oh, that's a bit deeper. And the deep drawer there. <coughs> now there is space under the bed as well to put your suitcases. Um. Then we've got a little bedside table I here. Noticed it. Oh, that's a massive yeah, safe. safe. Big safe. Um, is it just not very deep? Uh, oh, no, it's no, quite it's, deep. Yeah, yeah very that's deep, quite actually. a good safe. Yeah. I've noticed as well, they've got a lot of plugs, which I appreciate. USB, standard, USB again. I don't know what this does. The lights. That's ah, the fan. fan. Then you've got some nice little reading lights here as well. You can pivot. Uh, some more nice artwork, some lovely lights above the bed, um, big TV, bang in the middle. Can have connecting um, rooms if needed. Yeah, there's the bin and recycling, connecting rooms, full length mirror, uh, and then here's the door into the bathroom area, so these slide across like so, um, and they close, so if you want to give someone a bit of privacy whilst they're getting changed or what. I can do. Absolutely massive I'm mirror. I'm impressed with this bathroom. Above the double sinks. So nice. So <laughs> we've got uh, a wardrobe in here, and you've got extra pillows, um, a luggage rack, steamer, uh, steamer, ironing board, pillows, laundry bag, another bit of storage under there, um, and obviously some storage under there, over there. A uh, little coat hanger there to hang some clothes on, towel, bin, tissues, a bit of storage, tissues, another little cupboard in there, uh, the Disney uh, amenities, some soap, like I say, double sinks, some storage under there, some more storage under there, there's the hair dryer. little makeup mirror uh, and then in here into the bathroom so this um, does slide across so people can shower and use the bathroom while someone else uses the sinks so that pushes in and then that pushes in if you're trying to find it you just push this little button at the bottom and it pops right out for a little handle so you can slide it across um, and then yeah you've got your toilet Obviously, towels, shower, ooh, uh, a Disney <laughs> shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, but with some dodgy labels on this time. Oh. Um, and yeah, uh, a rainfall shower and a standard shower head as well. That kind of 
completes your room tour of the Coronado Springs. The story. Yeah, yeah. done. The um, Coronado Springs is home to a convention centre, so you do get a lot of conventions here. I think that's why they've gone for a big desk style this time, because you can have a lot of business people working here, as well as being at Disney. Yeah. So, there we go. I'm looking forward to staying here, actually. Yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. Our luggage hasn't arrived from Animal Kingdom Lodge yet, has it? No. Um, Maybe so a lion's eaten it. Possibly. Um, so it's currently just us here at the moment. So, I don't really know what we're going to do with the rest of the day. We need to go to the shop. Yep. To check if there's a hoodie there at uh, Coronado's store and get some milk for the coffee in the yeah. morning. All settled in. Off to the shop to find yeah. my hoodie, get some milk, get a little bit of water, and we'll do a bit of a tour, I think, shall we? We have you get we forgot the luggage slip, didn't we? So you need to you get given a slip for when you transfer your luggage and we've not brought the slip to say, Can I have my suitcase cases back, please? And neither of us want to walk back to the room. Because we're like a distance away <laughs> from the building. It's only there, but so we're gonna wrap paper scissors it. <laughs> On three, yeah? So wrap paper scissors it, shoot. Okay. Okay, ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! No! Yes! Off you go. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Luggage tag acquired. Just chilling there. Just chilling. Yeah, just and chilling. Oh, so pleasant. Oh, good, I'm glad. I never win the rock, paper, scissors, so I'm really. So the main big pool is called the dig site. If there's no kids or anything in the pool, I'll have a look. Uh, there isn't really anyone here. That's as far as I go though, because I think there's some kids around there. But well, it looks good. So these are the cabanas, the cabana area, and it's got a nice beach. Those hammocks look lovely, they're really padded. Oh wow, there's one free. Um, then you've got the ranchos over there, and then the casitas where we're staying. Oh, this sand, so soft. Oh, these look comfy. Don't get sand in your feet. Oh wow, no it's not wet. <laughs> Look, uh, it's covered in sand. <laughs> Fail. This is the cabana's pool area. They've got like, they've got perfect rooms. They look so nice. That's oh, a really nice pool area, isn't yeah. it, actually? Very nice. Onward. This area is where the check-in desks used to be before the Grand Bestino Tower was built. And they've replaced them all with little work desks. Yeah. With plugs, USB sockets. So this used to be like the main lobby area. This <laughs> Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> that, yeah, that was the check-in area. <laughs> this is the store. Look. Hunt Let's hunt more. for the jacket. Oh, that's a Tommy Bahama one. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. But. 115. <gasps> I don't like it that much. I believe in you. <laughs> nice. What you found? I quite like this spirit jersey. It's just a Walt Disney World one. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's not. I, um, I'm not a fan of the golf.
gold glitter all over yeah. it though, that's the only thing. Yeah, this would be nice if it was a jumper, but it's a... Yeah, nice yeah. Even as a t-shirt that would be nice. Oh, we need to get a Coronado Springs pin! Because if you've been watching, you will know we get a pin at every resort we stay at and then we've got a pin board at home. On to the pins. The by the desk. Let's get it. We got the pin. Got the pin. Pin acquired. And now we're off to the quick service. Hi. Wow. Oh yeah, so they've got Rick's sports bar and grill in there. Looks too Larry in there for me. These are refillable stations. Oh no, they've not got the Coke freestyle machines. Oh, they've got cherry Coke though. Not that I like cherry Coke, but I do think this quick service is brilliant. We came here a few years ago, just passing through and had some food here, and I thought the choice that they've got is a lot better than any other resorts. Potato salad. Mm. They do enough pineapple upside down cake in here. Max does a good pineapple upside down cake and it's his favourite. Oh my gosh, look at these. It has gone cold. Chill deep. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Three, isn't it? Three degrees tonight. Um, we've just been chilling in the room for a couple of hours and now we are on our way to the quick service to get some dinner. Now the menu is available for evening. So they've got little stations by the looks of it which do different things. So they've got fire braised chicken rice bowl, a beef rice bowl and a plant-based rice bowl. We got nachos there and Mexican street corn, cheeseburger, chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, barbecue pulled pork burger, uh, kids there as well, and then it looks like they've got the fried oven fired pizzas here. Ooh! Jumbo Italian meatballs and shrimp fries. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the quick service here. They're making everything fresh right in front of you. The pizza's there, and they've got the. Uh, she's making like all the pasta and stuff down there in front of you. Max went for the Beyond Burger. Yeah. The vegan vegetarian burger. We'll see what it's like. Yeah. And I've got the chicken palm with extra sauce I asked for. Why have you got the hood up? Because it's gone even colder. Tell us. I told you to put, take your shorts off and put some trousers on. Okay, <laughs> sure. You can't smell it. Um, what? what? <laughs> nothing. I what are you doing? See. <laughs> Thank you. I nearly had a heart attack in there. I had, a, I had an email off the National Lottery saying we have news about your ticket. <laughs> we're millionaires! Yeah, we're not. We're not. I won five pound. <laughs> I thought, yes, we can stay here. We can book into the suites at the Grand Floridian. We don't need to come home. We can travel first class back. And there was a whole ordeal because it wasn't letting you log in because you're not in the UK. UK. So I... Thought about all these millionaire ideas for a few minutes. Which has helped up into a frenzy. Reality hit and no, we've got to get back. However, <coughs> that chicken palm that I had, that's probably the best quick service meal I've ever had on property. Oh, wow. What a statement. It was delicious. It was made fresh in front of me. It was the right amount of food. Did you say she put the chicken in the pizza for them? She put the chicken in the pizza, yeah. It like fully all put chips in front of you. Very nice. Yeah. I just wanted to mention, um, 
we spent last week with Adam and Gary, as I probably already said at the start of this vlog. Um, but we've had such a good time, a really, really, really good time. And it's been so nice spending time with them in a place that I love, you love, they, they love. both love. Yeah. And it's just been a really, really nice week. So I just wanted to say thank you. Adam and Gary, if you're watching, you better be watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for a amazing week. And we already miss you. You're currently in the air on the way back home. Yeah, I hope you get home safe. Yes, we wish you were here. But I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. We've just been chilling for a couple of hours, haven't we? Yep. We've played Uno. I've never played Uno before. Turns out I'm quite good at it. Debatable. Depends who you ask. I mean, it's... a bit of luck isn't it really <laughs> we've had such a great time haven't we it's been amazing so it's been two weeks three different resorts adventures friends we've had an amazing time with adam and gary as you'll see when you watch adam's vlogs i'm sure you will making many magical memories so so good i'm just sad to be going home um however we are coming back in may and we will be vlogging that as well and I'm very excited because I think I previously mentioned we're staying at the Grand Floridian, which is my, I absolutely love that resort. Um, uh, Old Key West for two nights, which I'm also excited to stay in because that's the very first DVC resort that was built. And then four nights at Pop Century. Again, I'm very excited to stay there because of the Skyliner. Yeah. Um, so, well, uh, it's. Two more new resorts that we've never stayed in, isn't it? We've done Grand yes. Floridian before, uh, but not the more refurbished pins. rooms. Not the refurbished rooms, that's it. We're staying in the Mary Poppins refurbished rooms, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so that will be amazing. If you've made it to the very end and you've watched every single vlog that we've done, thank you thank so you. much. It means a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, if you're not already subscribed, hit that little subscribe button. It really does help. Join um, the family. Yeah, join the family, join <laughs> along. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And um, we will see you in a few months. I hope you enjoy the vlogs. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.